Coach, there are games and then there are games, and this is all about heart today. Oh, well, for sure. We came out a little bit slow, and Bucknell was really well prepared, and they played great. They've been playing great. They're well coached. They play hard as heck, and they're really good offensively. So for us to battle back and not lose our cool to get enough chances to have a chance to tie the game at the end and then win it in overtime, it's incredible. And I'm trying to think of maybe one player that this guy did. But it was everything. It was a team effort from the guards to the inside play got better as the game went on. No doubt about it. And missing Devin Hines to illness, like it really hurt us in the beginning for some offense. Uh, a lot of new guys played in, in significant roles. So a total team effort for sure. That's kind of been our identity here in the last month or so to play team basketball together and together. The guy standing next to me is a senior and Kyle Jenkins and he goes for uh, 15 and eight defensively he was phenomenal and he put us back in in charge late in the second half which is really cool to see too. Go celebrate, great job. I appreciate it. Kyle, come on in. Player of the game, Coca-Cola player of the game, Kyle Jenkins. Phenomenal game. Kyle, you've been involved with a lot of games here as a senior. This is a special one. Yeah, definitely. Definitely up there. Uh, incredible toughness from our team, just fighting back the entire game, not giving up no matter what the score was. So definitely proud of these guys. That's a tough team on the inside and the outside, but you guys matched up and eight rebounds by yourself. Today, it was a team effort all the way through, but I thought you played really strong inside at the end. Yeah, no, Coach gave us a really good scout. Uh, obviously had a few slip ups at the start of the game, but once we set it in, I think we got some confidence and uh, we were able to come back. So. Now, as is, there's only three seniors on this team, what do you say to the guys? Is it Matt, is everybody, is it, it like there are no freshmen anymore or what? I mean, you're a senior, you gotta lead this team, you head down on Wednesday to Loyola, you gotta keep this thing alive. Yeah, I think, you know, definitely I try and tell them what I've been through in the past, you know, give them advice and stuff. But I think our tough out-of-conference schedule has prepared these guys for conference, and I think everyone's developed and has confidence now, so we don't see it as any freshmen, we just see it as our team, so. Keep it rolling, go celebrate, Gretz. Yes, sir, thank you. Appreciate it. Guys, an unbelievable win. The Pards are 6-0. and Back to you. Great job, Mike. I don't know how Kyle managed to put together a, a highlight package. There are just so many of them in this ball game. Uh, I can tell you that Williamson with a double-double, 23-15. and 15. Edmonds, 13, 15 for Forrest, 10 for McCreesh. Kyle Jenkins, 15, eight rebounds to lead the team in rebounds. 11 for Ryan Pettit, 16 for Mark Butler. But again, John, they just spread everything out. I mean, eight points for Vander Bonney. Got those all late in the fourth quarter. Uh, Sava, Sava, what? I mean, he hits those two threes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rasmussen hits the three yeah. free throws to give us the lead at the end. Ryan Pettit, Pettit. how many loose balls. So, yo, you go down the list, but that is what has been the earmark. That's what has defined this basketball team during this run, Gary. Again, you and I, we, we scour the statistics. You can't explain it statistically. You just can't do it. The, the, somewhere along the line, the light bulb went on. And you know, I, I talked to Mike McGarvey this week. I, we texted back and forth. And I, to turn things around in the middle of a season is probably the hardest thing. Two things have to be in place. Number one, as a coach, you've got to be a good communicator. Mm -hmm. But you also have to have kids that will listen. Somewhere along the line, Mike McGarvey convinced these guys that there was going to be a new start to the season once uh, Patriot League started. And they listened, they bought in. This has been an incredible turnaround. And I have to believe none more important than beating Army in the first game of the Patriot League since then. They've gone to win them all. Here's John with the highlights. And uh, yes, the highlights, the pleasant highlights if you're a Lafayette fan. Boy, BGAC outside. This was the first shot of the game by the seven footer, Noah Williamson. He is only a sophomore. Bucknell isn't going anywhere. So despite the win today, look at the left hand finish by the big guy in the side, inside. Uh, Jack Force, you know, Gary, uh, this is just great ball movement. There's Williamson again. Uh, I thought Lafayette did a nice job on Jack Forrest uh, all game long. And he comes in averaging 17, the senior, our Coca-Cola player of the game. Kyle Jenkins with a big three, the high-low. Nice feed from Justin Vanderbond. Lafayette showed glimpses in the first half, Gary, but by relative standards, it was a flat first half for the Leopards. Jenkins knocks one down here, but you know, that might have been fool's gold. There just wasn't a whole lot of movement, you know? They really didn't get into any kind of rhythm until the second half. Bucknell came out and threatened to uh, put this thing away. Jack Forrest came out of the locker room. I know that John Griffin was telling his team, we got to get Jack going, and he hit two quick threes, and it looked like trouble for the Leopards. But as has been the case all year long, Ryan Pettit answers. This was the second in a row, and we thought that Forrest was going to get it going, and that would spell trouble for the Leopards. It was not to be. Uh, that might have been the last three that he hit for a long, long time. Ryan Pettit with a gritty move to the bucket. This is the inside out we talked about, 7-7. Kind of 
flying under the radar all game long, knocks down two big threes uh, in a row, and that uh, kept Lafayette close. Look at the sky hook by Williamson, a terrific uh, move on the inside, and then Williamson again. Look at this, Gary. Boy, they really let them play. I mean, these guys were uh, you know, scratching and clawing and, and going at each other hard. This is a pick and roll that uh, it just isn't done any better. Again, two well-coached, well-drilled basketball teams went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and uh, if you bought a ticket, you got your money's worth. Uh, they lost sight of Eric Sonberg and the senior with a classic. We'll be talking about that one for a long, long time. A big-time shot to send us into overtime. In overtime, uh, again, let's take another look at it. You saw Williamson absolutely run away from the inbounder, and uh, that's a, that's a mistake, you know, you got to guard that three-point line. Lafayette, the only thing that's going to help him was a three. Uh, this was a shooter's touch. Forrest never completely went away. Uh, watch, this is, a, I think, the best move. Uh, well, that, not that, that was a pretty good move, too, but I thought Vanderbond started to play really, really assertively uh, when it mattered most. Uh, Mark Butler, what can you say? Uh, here is the foul on Rasmus in the three. He makes three free throws, then the defensive play at the other end. You know, between Vanderbon and Rasmussen, uh, Gary, the defense was absolutely stellar. I think once John Griffin has a chance to, I'm sorry, not John Griffin, Mike McGarvey has a chance to review the videotape, he's really going to point to the defense played uh, collectively by this Lafayette And remember, team. when that defense down there at that end was blocking shots, Bucknell was only down one. They only needed a bucket to give themselves the lead. Great job inside. You look at the numbers, and, uh, you know, this team, when you look at numbers, you, you just don't know how they do it. Can I say that 7 for 26 is terrible? <laughs> <laughs> and they win. I mean, really, they just, but, you know, assist. They're moving the basketball. They, 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 that assist number, they only turned it over against a very good Bucknell defense eight times. Those little things that sometimes fly under the radar, Lafayette's doing them well. I love the term that Mike used earlier. He said we're playing connected basketball. And when a team is connected, the ball moves. It doesn't matter who gets the credit. Uh, they're sharing everything. And uh, the bottom line is, Gary, right now they're sharing a lot of wins. And right now they're not sharing the top spot in the Patriot League as they are 6-0. and oh, Bucknell falls to five, uh, Bucknell Falls two, five and, th or three and three in the Patriot League. And again, Bucknell has yet to win back-to-back -back basketball games this season, which is pretty hard to believe. Final score, Lafayette wins at 75-72. This has been a wonderful basketball game. Thanks to John, thanks to Mike, thanks to the Astound Television crew headed up by Chris Saya. And thanks to all of you. I'm sure you enjoyed the game as much as we did. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. We'll see you Wednesday night with the women. Good night, everybody.